Hi, thanks so much for joining me again for my February Reflections on Self-Love. Yesterday I promised you that we would talk more about peace today, and I've really been giving it a lot of thought as to which direction I want to approach this with. And one of the things that I think is really important that we begin to understand is this whole concept that everything is working in our favor. Now I know that you may be rolling your eyes and I know I've rolled my own eyes at times when someone offered that to me in the midst of like craziness or chaos. Certainly when things were not quite going in the direction that I wanted them to. And so, you know, that statement, everything is working in our favor, not only felt a little trite, to tell you the truth, but also like just, you know, this impossibility. In fact, it probably even aggravated me on some levels. But in steady reflection of that, and also just looking at my own life experiences, you know, it's so interesting when I look at peace and how it is probably, you know, one of the most important things that each of us has in common. We are always looking for peace. We as much as sometimes we create that chaos um, in, inside of us and then, of course, is reflected on the outside, underneath it all, there's always this yearning for peace. We just want some peace and quiet. Now, if we take the approach that all things are working in our favor, we then have to look at that chaos, that confusion, that disruption, that disappointment, that unhappiness as being part of that program. Now, you might be saying, you know, this is exhausting. How can we, you know, keep looking at these things that are going wrong and trying to bring ourselves back to this center point over and over and over again? Well, it's a very good question. And yet, without that intention, peace always eludes us. Because it's only with us following the direction of that intention that we can really start to allow ourselves to let go of the things that are standing in our way from achieving that peace. So in other words, when our lives are in such disarray and we are like yearning for that deeper sense of peace or some semblance of you know, quiet within us, it would seem then that the only path to it is actually one of finding a level of appreciation for everything that's in disarray. One of the things is, is that it certainly provides us with a lot of contrast, doesn't it? It shows us sometimes in a very black and white way um, just how different things are as opposed to how different they can be or how different we want them to be. But there's more. What more is there? Well, it's when we really start to appreciate that everything has its own vibrational frequency we start to realize that if we are looking for peace and we are looking to the outside of ourselves for peace, we will never find it. And that happens often, right? We're looking for the storms to calm down outside of us. We're looking for someone else to change their behavior. We're looking for someone else to 
provide for us some relief of this disruption. But in truth, that peace that we are searching for, longing for, cannot come to us unless we go within and we reach for that vibrational frequency of peace that's waiting for us to align with it. So I did give you a little clue in terms of one of the ways that you can do that, right? It's to find this new level of appreciation for even the contrast, even the craziness, even the chaos. But what's the other way? Well, the other way is to know and familiarize yourself with how that vibrational frequency of peace how it feels as you're getting closer to it. And of course, the mechanisms that transport you there. This vibrational frequency of peace is online. It is in the energetic wave that it shares with this umbrella of energy that we call love. And so, this peace is found only when we are climbing that mountain of debris, false beliefs, mishaps, energetically still adhered to our energy field. But just as we can find an appreciation for everything that we're experiencing and allow it to take us to peace, as we climb that mountain towards peace, in all actuality, we are going deeper and deeper and deeper into our truth. So peace is something that we long for because peace is in total alignment with our truth, the wholeness of our being. It's when we are aligned with the truth of our own divinity. And it's why we must both climb and dive simultaneously. Because in order to align with that vibrational frequency, we have to raise ours. But in order to get there, we must dive deeply within and just keep flinging out the stuff, the debris that has that peace buried in the closet of our everyday existence. And so I'm going to leave you with that little message today, but I'm going to ask you a question. How do you think that peace and self-love are connected? Oh, I would love to hear from you. Love to hear your thoughts on that. So please leave them in the comments below. And with that, I'll say goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be right back here with more on my reflections of self-love, what I've learned and what I continue to learn because life insists upon it. This is a full-time job and it is one that just is presented every single day to us to find yet another piece of that puzzle. And so, again, what do peace and self-love have in common? What are they and how are they connected? All right, I'll see you again tomorrow. So much love to you and may you find peace.